there, Valerian with Pink Dahlia Soaps here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Happy New Year to all. And what a better time than the new year to try to redo something that you weren't happy with in the past. Today's soap will be a second attempt at a Northern Lights inspired creation. As a reminder, here is the first attempt of the Northern Lights soap. Let's see if I can make this soap a little less frightening. But before we get started, I want to share with you something that my soapy friend Jennifer, aka Bunny, sent me. Look at this. Isn't this such a pretty unicorn soap? I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for sending that to me along with the other goodies. I am very grateful. Okay, here are the colors that I will be using in today's soap. And as I usually do, I will disperse the colorants with a little bit of the measured out oils. I like to disperse the colorants because it just makes it easier to mix into the soap batter. And it almost seems like the colors are a little more vibrant when you disperse them. I don't know, could just be all in my head, who knows. I'm using the same fragrance oil that I used the last time I made this soap, which is called Sapphire Nights. It has patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, lavender, rose, a lot of good stuff. It smells really good. I made these lovely tree embeds a few days prior. I used two different molds for these. I will link them both below. The soap is still very liquidy, so I will give it a few minutes to set up a little bit more before I add the embeds. It appears that the soap is pretty set, so I tried to put the embed in and it kind of falls to the side. So I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. And now to add what will hopefully look like the night sky and the northern lights. Time to see what's on my first embed tray of 2021. I have some little tree slices. Tree silhouettes, if you will. No piping for this soap. I'm just going to dab on a few colors and then I'm going to take an offset spatula and give it a good schmear. It's a bird, it's a plane, no. It's your mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. Northern Lights style. Two days later, let's cut this soap. Well, well, well. I think I love this soap. 
Hmm, it's a lot better than the last one. I will say that. I could have maybe blended the sky a little bit more. It maybe done thinner layers. I don't know. I think I do love the soap, though. Yay, I think I'm happy with this one, guys. Wow, we are in 2021. Good things are going to happen this year. Let's put that out there. Good things will happen in 2021, including the next few soaps that I plan on making. I'm so excited for those. I really hope they turn out okay. And I really hope that you come back to join me for those. Should be posting a picture of the next soap on Instagram at Pink Dahlia Soaps in the next few days. And I'm also excited because I finally purchased a slab mold. So I'm looking forward to making some soaps in a slab mold. 2021 is looking up, right? <laughs> that does it for today. As always and forever, thank you so very much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, or leave a comment below. Take care. Bye-bye.